Okay, I was talking to the guy at work, and we were talking about um, NFA weapons, or National Firearms Act weapons. Um, these are the most regulated firearms in the United States. Um, this is the best... Uh, first of all, let me explain to you. Um, do not take anything I am about to tell you as pure legal advice. This is more of, like, a advisory or a suggestion. So, you know, always consult legal experts before you go ahead and do anything um, with the NFA weapons or at least a good reliable source. Um, a person who deals in NFA weapons is generally would be considered a good reliable source because if they get in trouble they're going to prison for it. Um, and we'll go over to definitions. Um, some of these I have the law cited and I will tell you that because I know you probably can't read it. Um, but the areas in which NFA weapons are classed are machine guns, short-barreled shotguns, short-barreled rifles, suppressors, destructive devices, and any other weapon. And destructive device, they're all pretty good at the explanation of what they are, with the exception of any other weapon. It's kind of like a, really kind of a goofy one. Alright, machine gun. Um, a weapon who shoots, is designed to shoot, or can be readily restored to shoot automatically more than one shot without man or reloading by a single function of the trigger the frame or receiver of any such weapon any part designed intended solely or exclusive or combination of parts designed and intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun or any combination of parts from which a machine gun can be assembled if such parts are in the possession or under the control of a person that's um, 26 US code section 5845B um, basically, anything that you can pull a trigger and fire more than one round, shotguns are accepted or excluded, um, or anything that modifies that, um, like a the sear from an M16 is considered a machine gun. Um, there are other certain, and I can't think of what they are now, but there are other certain components that by themselves are classed as machine guns but mostly those are trigger pe um, trigger components like the sear and stuff like this um, short barreled rifle a shoulder fired rifle shoulder fired shoulder fired rifled firearm with a barrel length of less than 16 inches or an overall length of less than 26 inches okay to be classed as a short barreled rifle it's gonna have less than 16 inch barrel and it must be a rifled barrel I hate this short barrel shotgun a shotgun with a barrel short barrel length shorter than 18 inches or an overall length of shorter than 26 inches so basically it's smooth it's basically the same exact almost identical to the rifle the exception of inches but it's smooth bore okay now destructive device and again I can't find the actual law on those two Destructive device, 26 U.S. Code, Section 5845. Any explosive, incinerary, or poison gas, a bomb, a grenade, a rocket having a propellant charge of more than 4 ounces, a missile having an explosive charge of more than 1 quarter ounce, a mine, or similar device. Any weapon, by whatever name it is known, which will or which may be readily converted to protect a projectile by the action of explosive or other propellant. The barrel or barrels of which have a bore more than one half inch in diameter, 50 inches, 50 inches or 12.7 millimeter, except a shotgun or shotgun shell, which the secretary finds is generally recognized as suitable, particularly suitable for sporting purposes. In any combination of parts, either designed or intended for use and converting, blah 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 blah. Um, the shotgun Let's kind of skip some of this. Um, the term destructive device shall not include any device which is neither designed nor redesigned for use as a weapon. Any device, although originally designed for use as a weapon, which is redesigned for use as a signaling, pyrotechnic, line throwing, safety, or similar device, surplus ordnance sold or loaned or given by the Secretary of the Army, pursuant to the provisions of blah blah blah. Okay, so basically anything above 50 caliber, with the exception of. I believe it's 20 and 12, I can't remember, but certain shotguns are above that, but they're considered sporting guns. Um, and any explosive more than 4 ounces or rocket with a half ounce, okay? 
A suppressor is a device which is attached to or part of the barrel of the firearm which reduces the amount of noise. Yeah, pretty self explanatory. Any other weapon, 26 U.S. Code 5845E, for the purpose of the NFA, whatever, means any weapon or device capable of being concealed on the person from which a shot can be discharged to the energy of explosive. Now, that's why I said this is kind of a vague one. Because certain things qualify as in any other weapon, which really kind of aren't, sort of, maybe. So let's get into some pictures. Okay, we have here a suppressor. Uh, there it goes. Now this is a in integral suppressor. It's actually part of the firearm. It's still classed as a suppressor. Machine gun. This would be an SBR. This would be a short barrel shotgun. This isn't any other weapon. You're saying, wait, that's a shotgun. No, that's in any other weapon. And I'll explain why. First of all, you're thinking, okay, it's a shotgun. It's 12 gauge, smoothbore barrel, but short barrel shotguns must have a shoulder stock. This does not. So that's why this is classed as any other weapon. This is a 22 caliber revolver knife. Okay. The cylinder is back here. It fires out of here. Right here is the muzzle. Right here is the trigger. This is any other weapon. Let me come back to that. This is a pin gun. There's a fire mechanism, barrel, chamber, all that. That's in any other weapon. This isn't any other weapon. It's rifled, but it has no stock. Also, that would be classed as a pistol, but it has a forward grip. That is what makes it any other weapon. Like I said before, any other weapon is, is kind of a, a broad category. And I think, oh wait, no, destructive device. This is a grenade launcher. Um, it is a destructive device. Each one of these rounds is possibly a destructive device also. I think. I'm not really sure about that one, so that's one of the, this is and this is why you need to get somebody who knows this stuff. Because I'm not sure, but I think it's illegal to own these type of rounds, especially the explosive rounds. I think the smoke and the Paint rounds, that's what these things are. Not really paint rounds, they're more like a powder. But flare rounds, I think those are okay. Not 100% sure on that one. Let me flip through here real quick, see if I can sure I got everything. Okay, now, this is another thing that's really funky. In order to own that, you're going to pay a $200 transfer tax. In order to own that, you're going to pay $200 tax. In order to own that, you're going to pay $200 tax. In order to own that, you're going to pay $200 tax. In order to own that, you're going to pay a $200 tax. In order to own that, you're going to pay a $5 tax. That's a $5 tax. Sort of. Um, I'll come back to that. In order to own that, you're going to pay a $5 tax. To own that, it's a $5 tax. Now... The reason this is one of those goofy ones is because this grip is removable. So, when you pull it off, you have a handgun. When you put it on there, you have a any other weapon. Now, when the grip is on there, it's an illegal weapon if it's not registered. So, for you to put a forward grip on a handgun like that, you're going to have to fill out Form 1, I believe it is. Which is manufacturing, or no, actually, you know what? It's Form 4. It's form 4. Manufacturing of a NFA registered weapon, and you're going to have to pay $200 tax stamp to make it. And you're going to have to do all sorts of stuff like engrave on the slide or frame or whatever and all that fun crap. It gets so much more. I like how that one is like flashing colors. I don't know if y'all can see it, sorry, right here. Anyway. 
Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do another video about actually filling out Form 4. But, so NFA weapons, they're cool. Um, you know, like you go to the range and start, let's say, shooting that. You know, not a lot of people have that. Or, you know, most of the stuff. Um, you do have to check state laws. Like in Indiana, I can own all of this except for you. I cannot own a short barrel shotgun in the state of Indiana. Weird. Um, I can own a machine gun. That's cool. I can own a suppressor. That's okay. I can own that, which that's okay. But I can't own a short barrel shotgun. So check your state laws. Um, and basically, you shouldn't really have to do more than talk to the dealer where you're going to buy it from. So I hope that helped.